Hey YouTube, um, I don't know if I'm much of an authority to speak on this matter, but um, I, I've i heard about the uh, rants about um, Marvel Legends and how they're price hiking and everything like that and people kind of complaining about the quality and the um, the use of, of, uh, of like, you know, the same body sculpt and everything. So I just wanted to give my thoughts on um, Marvel Legends, pretty much how they fill the um, action figure role, what their place is within the role itself, and um, and my take on them. Uh, I, I I'm guilty of overspending on uh, Marvel Legends. Like I think I think most people honestly are. If not, then there wouldn't be a market on eBay to be doing that. But, um, uh, but I think, I think they're really good figures. Um, I think, I, I do agree with a lot of people that there's a, there's a lot of times that when it comes to a certain character, let's say like a, a well-known character from X-Men, like Wolverine or, or, um, Cyclops or something, there, there's a lot of times where like they'll drop the ball and not make it as good as they could have. Um, to this day, in fact, I don't think there's been like a great Marvel Legends, um, Marvel Legends, uh, Cyclops out there. So, um, but, uh, as far as like build a figures go, build a figures pretty much are great. Um, every single build a figure I own, um, whether or not I built it myself or I, uh, bought it secondhand, have, have been astounding figures. Uh, to me, the build of figures uh, are definitely worth the money because it's like you're buying a premium figure anyways. Um, I don't think kids actually own build of figures. Um, the reason for that being is because um, kids don't have the money and there's, and there's probably a lot of parents out there that don't want to spend the money on a on kids to get an entire wave to get a build a figure so um so to me it's like they definitely don't have a build a figure but then then again uh um they don't the kids don't have a build a figure but it's also like the build like a complete build a figure is kind of rare in a sense because i don't think a whole lot of people outside of like diehard collectors are are uh are um getting entire waves to complete them so um the other thing too is like i like the body uh sizes and the body styles you know like up here you can see it you got a silver surfer you know who's who's a uh, strong but also very skinny very uh um small if you were to put him up against like this King Hiss, he would look so much smaller. Um, or like the Zodak, he would look so much smaller. But you look at this King Zodak and this King, uh, and I mean, you look at this King Hiss and this uh, Zodak, and they're the exact same body mold. The exact same body mold. You look at this Silver Surfer, and then you look at this Wendigo. They're completely different. You know, even if you look at this Silver Surfer and then you look at this High Evolutionary, they're completely different. So, I think, honestly, a lot of people give Marvel Legends too much crap. Um, when it comes to the price hikes, I understand that it's annoying. But, I mean, you, I, mean I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but it's just how... it. It's just how... It's just how inflation works. Um, it's that's that's just what's going to happen with inflation. Never has it been easier in this day and age, due to technology and wages, for uh, for somebody to make fifty dollars. So if so, I mean, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this, but like if if you're if you're a grown man out there, it's easy for you to make fifty dollars. And I'm assuming if if you buy figures you obviously have the passion for it so you're gonna so if it's a if it's a figure that appeals to you 
and you have the money to do it, then you're going to buy it for fifty dollars. In some in some instances, I think that fifty dollars is almost cheap for a figure. You know, I mean, I buy I buy figures all, all the time that are like eighty dollars, fifty dollars, forty dollars, sixty dollars, uh, seven dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Hell, I bought in a figure that's a that's a thousand dollars. So, um, so it's really, it, I don't think the price hike is as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. Um, I mean, I mean, like people's argument could be, well, then that's going to get, that's going to give kids initiative or that's going to give parents initiative not to give, get their kids a figure. And it's like, that may be true, but most kids nowadays don't even care about figures. They, they, they would rather get like like Legos or Beyblades or, or Imagine X or just play on their phone or something like that. They don't give a shit about figures. They really don't. I'm sick and tired of this, uh, this like, um, idea that like, that like grown men, grown adult men have on YouTube that, that somehow or another kids are actually playing with figures. They haven't been. And I don't think they really have been, uh, even as far back as the late nineties. So, um, there were like other toys for, for kids other than, other than, um, action figures, you know, I mean, in, in the late nineties, toy, toy collecting wasn't nearly to the state that it was, but it was still going around. You're still having, uh, uh, grown men and grown, grown adults, um, buying toys to collect, you know, just watch the movie Toy Story 2, um, that had, a a, a, a man child guy who, who had to buy a, who had, who had to buy a Woody doll, you know, and when he couldn't get the Woody doll, he just stole it, so, it, I'm just saying, toy collectors, just don't be that guy, don't be the dude from Toy Story 2, okay, you know, just, I mean, just, if, if you want the figure that bad, you're gonna buy it, and then if not, you're gonna leave it, that's really just how I do it, uh, that brings me to, uh, what I think the role in, um, in, uh, uh, Marvel Legends is, and honestly, I think the role, I think the role of them is, is that this, okay, they come out with so many obscure, uh, Marvel characters, um, that, like, I think, I think sort of what they want you to do is, like, if, if you have, like, Mythic Legions, or if you have Masters of the Universe Classics, or if you have NECA, or if you have Ninja Turtles, or something like that, a gen, uh, I don't, generic's not the right word, but if you want, like, an obscure, um, Marvel character that really doesn't have any kind of background to him, he's there to fill, like, a certain void in, like, that, in, like, Mythic Legions, or in, like, Masters of the Universe Classics, or in, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that you can put him in with those guys, and sort of just have him be, like, a brand new different character that's that's kind of what i think that that's a part of the that's that's role number one that i think marvel legends fills role number two um i think um i think uh is like if there's an estate if there's a state where like industries aren't really putting out too many um different types of figures like um like uh Masters of the Universe, because there really is, there really hasn't been a whole lot of Masters of the Universe product uh, come out recently. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a lot of uh, stuff with Revelations. I mean, I see a lot of leaks, but I don't see a lot actually on the shelves, um, and I don't see a lot with Origins either. But the thing about Marvel Legends is they're always there; they're constantly coming out with stuff. And for a toy company to constantly be coming out with stuff and have them as, as good as that quality, like, look at this MODOK. Look at how intense that looks, you know? That quality, um, if they're coming out with that quality, basically, um, that soon, then, then, um, uh, that's actually pretty good, you know? It's, it's, it's almost kind of shocking that they aren't using um, body molds as often as, as you think they would, honestly, so, um, uh, roll, uh, 
I want to say um, roll number three, if I can think of any, would maybe be um, I don't really know what roll number three would be because I think the first two rolls that I listed um, touched on a, on a huge point. Um, so, but yeah, you can, like, these are honestly really good figures. Um, well, here, here's, here's what would be a rule number three. Uh, think about it this way. Uh, Marvel's a mainstream company that's still doing sexy women and they're still giving action figures guns, you know, whether the figure's good or not, they're still, they're still doing those two things. You know, like DC's not, DC doesn't give any of their characters guns. And, um, you know, and, uh, and they're, and, and it seems like they're also trying to phase out, um, guns with figures, you know, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know, you, you talk about like swords and, and, and stuff like that. How is a gun how is a gun much different than a sword? Like it, they're, they're still both like brutal, brutal ways of ending somebody's life. Um, why, why, why is it worse when it's with a gun rather than with a sword? You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you could like, the thing about guns is like guns are, are guns have more of a self-defense purpose and swords do if somebody were to brutally murder somebody with a sword you know i would almost think that that guy that person's sort of even more deranged i mean i mean it's all deranged to kill somebody with with any type of weapon or, or to kill anybody at all but it's just that like it's just that like this idea that somehow guns are more violent than swords or you know or like you know more offensive to the to the senses than swords is just is just ridiculous and something i never quite understood with people that want to that want to censor or want to um or want to um uh shut down anything people that just love 86ing stuff so so that's uh that's my rant about um Marvel Legends, um, I don't have much more to say about them, um, I think they're great figures, um, the ones that you can find, just, you know, pick and choose, there's no reason, there's really no reason to, to, um, be a completist on Marvel Legends, I understand being a fan of Marvel, I'm, I'm a fan of Marvel as well, but the thing is, is Marvel is evergreen, they've never, they've never been like Masters of the Universe or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or like uh, a lot of the NECA properties where they've come and gone. You know, they've never been like Spawn either. Like Spawn is definitely one of those where they've they've come and gone. So there's really no reason at all for anybody to to um uh to like be a complete Spawn Marvel. It's always going to be there. They're they're really like they're really the 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 comic book company that's that's basically too big to fail. So um so, uh, anyways, um, uh, have a, enjoy, enjoy your time collecting, enjoy Marvel, um, if, uh, if, if Marvel's, if Marvel's not your thing anymore, I totally understand, but I just wanted to put it out there. Anyways, uh, have a good one, and, uh, I'm gonna make another video on, um, uh, update video on my, on my collection. I've been trying to make a couple of videos of that, but I keep on getting sidetracked. So, bye.